And members of the public had a chance to voice their opinions Tuesday about the controversial Northern Access Pipeline. The state DEC held the first of three public hearings about the proposal at St. Bonaventure University. Charlie Joyce, a Wellsville native, is for the project, boasting the number of jobs it will create. I build these things all over the world, all over the United States now. And I, in my career, have seen the evolution of, of the concern for for public safety and the environment in our industry. The company is a bidder on the project, but we've reviewed the thing at least a couple times already due to delays in the project, and there's no guarantee that it will be a part of it, but a lot of these people in this room will be. Last year, we employed 1,600 people. The nearly half a billion dollar pipeline proposed more than two years ago by National Fuel will move natural gas from Pennsylvania to western New York, the Midwest, and Canada. Those against the project cite environmental health and property value concerns. Barbara Diskett is a mother against the idea. We are not in the middle of nowhere. We are a vibrant community. And our community would be used to transport hazardously gas 96 miles to be exported for private profit and not even available to us. I'm a leukemia mom. My daughter Nadine was diagnosed at 17. As a, as a survivor, she faces lifelong risks of future cancer and diseases. I cannot in good conscience condone putting anyone else, especially young people, at risk of the devastating journey Nadine had or condone the heartbreak of their families. Now, National Fuel already has federal approval to build the pipeline so they could use eminent domain if they had to, although they still need air and water permits from the DEC.